Work it, make it, do it. This makes us better, faster, stronger, and smarter. I'm talking about exercise. Exercise is a physical activity that majority population can engage in. Exercise activates the sympathetic nervous system, also known as the flight or fight response. This response activates the pituitary gland, which activates the adre adrenal medulla to release circulating catecholamines and glucocorticoids, such as epinephrine and cortisol. Cortisol is linked to acute stress, and acute stress is linked to enhanced memory. This is because when there is a high concentration of cortisol in the bloodstream, it can penetrate the blood-brain barrier, which can influence the amygdala and the hippocampus in conjunction with epinephrine and non-epinephrine. Exercise is seen as a good stress, and this is because of physical activity or exercise can positively benefit one's physical, mental, and emotional health. Research has found that exercise can increase one's cardiovascular and respiratory systems. As well, in the mental area, exercise has been found to decrease anxiety and decrease depressive symptoms. While we found that exercise can increase one's physical health and mental and social health, there's very little research found on the cognitive implications of exercise. Specifically, in this research, we're looking at memory consolidation, which is a cognitive function. Memory is seen in three different steps. There are short-term sensory stores, there's short-term memory, and there's long-term memory. Specifically, for the study, we're looking only at long-term memory. And long-term memory um, can be achieved through storage by selective attention and rehearsal. In some studies, we find that um, comparing emotional uh, stress can actually increase uh, one's memory consolidation. So in one study that uh, we looked upon, there uh, between an arousing and a neutral story, they found that participants remembered more details about the arousing story compared to the neutral story. Physical activity has been found to have similar physiological responses as emotional stress. And this means there's evidence that emotional stress and physical activity can enhance memory consolidation. In our study, we looked upon 40 university students. And within those 40 university students, each participant looked at the same 20 images. Prior to each image viewing, each participant was selected into four different groups, a rest group, a low intensity group, a moderate group, and a high intensity group. And they all went about a 25 minute bout of exercise on an ergometer. And prior and after to each exercise bout, each participant uh, gave sal uh, salivary cortisol swabs that are left on the tongue for two minutes to collect salivary cortisol. From the study, we found that there's a significant difference between high intensity and rest when it comes to salivary cortisol. And from images, we found that the moderate and the high intensity group remembered less pleasing images compared to the low and rest group. And even more specifically, we found that the high intensity group remembered more arousing images overall compared to all other groups. Now, why is this important? This is important because it's very applicable to everyday life. Everybody uses memory in some type of form. Every op occupation, people use memory. And if we find that exercise can increase memory or enhance memory, it's very important because not only does exercise have physical and emotional benefits, it can also have cognitive benefits from, given from the results of the study. So, like Daft Punk says, if you make it, work it, and do it, it can make you better, stronger, faster, and smarter. Remember that.